Hey guys, welcome back to Heaven Sin Boyfriend. I'm Chancellor. Sida. How are you guys doing? So we want to come back with you guys with for another Sample Sniff Saturday, but with a little bit of a twist. So what we want to do was we want to recap the first five Sample Sniff Saturdays just to kind of give you guys a, a rundown of different criteria for each different house. What are those criteria? Stay tuned to find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, before we begin, I want to give a special shout out to our newest subscriber, Faith Barr, from hailing all the way from the UK. Thank you so much for your subscription, Faith. Like, uh, we love to, to Welcome. <laughs> yeah, we love to uh, connect with you and uh, leave uh, comments in the comment section. We always look forward to that. Absolutely, and we also have other subscribers. I can't remember the gentleman's name. I believe this gentleman. He was our 150th subscriber. He yes. said specifically that he was. Uh, we'll put the name down here. Right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. And that was so thoughtful of you to kind of let us know that we hit that marker. That's really cool. What's the criteria? Well, so um, so there are six different criteria. Um, so the first criteria is going to be scent. Uh, now, when we say scent, um, is it more of a vintage sort of scent or is it more modern? And then the second criteria we're going to have is going to be lasting power. Like, does it last for four hours on the skin, eight hours, 12 hours, 16 hours? How long is it lasting? The third uh, criteria we're going to have is going to be occasion. Are you wearing this at the office all day? Or is it going to be a night out fragrance? Leisure. Or, yeah. Leisure time, you know, that sort of thing. Or is it a signature scent? You know, is it something about that house that kind of has is, is a standalone and, or something you smell within the house that makes it it? Right. And our fifth is going to be gender. Okay, does it lean more feminine? Does it lean more masculine? Or is it more of a unisex sort of scent? The last criteria is going to be fashion. What are you going to dress it up with? You know, you're wearing a fragrance. Are you a uh, white butt down? Are you in a suit? What are you wearing? So let's get to it. It's a little bit tricky because when you're talking about a fragrance house, we're talking about array of fragrances. So we're talking about a feel that you get kind of for a fragrance house, maybe uh, how you can relate to them, right? So that's what we're kind of breaking down. First house we're going to talk about is Zerjal. So Zerjal Fragrance House uh, definitely gives you more of a modern feel with their fragrances. I would say Zerjal Fragrances tends to, well at least the ones I've sample sniffed, tend to go more in the gourmand area. Um, we're talking about Lira, we're talking about um, Dama Bianca, we're talking about uh, let me see, the name escapes me right now. Oh, Aropura. You know, so it's kind of like fruits and things like that, but it's, it's more so, I would say, the ones I smelled, they're, they're definitive to me as far as what gender they are for. Meaning, in the sense of, there's more ones that lean more feminine and ones that lean more masculine. But overall, I would say that years of fragrances are a dress up occasion. I would say that, um, you know, they're definitely those standout fragrances and the potency of the fragrance, the potency of the fragrance definitely will last really well on you. I would say that makes it to me a party fragrance. Not in a sense of you're going to a party, I think about leisure time. Times when you're enjoying yourself and someone can smell you really close. Not Nothing like the office where you don't want to overwhelm someone. I would say if you really want to smell interesting, Jared is a good fragrance house to go for. Um, especially if you love gourmands and you just want to have something unique. I like gourmands. <laughs> yeah, I do too. How long does it last then? Uh, I would say they, they're they're um uh, they're moderate to long lasting. Mm -hmm. Next favorite house is House of Killian, uh, Killian Fragrance House. So Killian definitely goes in the modern, um, you know, kind of uh, realm too. When I say modern, I'm saying that you don't get a vintage feel. You know how you can smell a fragrance and you can say, okay, this fragrance smells like it's from a certain era. They don't tend to do those kind of fragrances. You don't really get fragrances. I would say consistently you get a more modern approach to a fragrance, something that's unique or even innovative with a mm -hmm. fragrance house. Killian's definitely sophisticated. I would say a night out. Um, like yeah, like I, I picture uh, I picture people uh, leaving work maybe and or not even leaving work. I would say a man who likes to go to a cigar lounge and he's dressed to the nines. He kind of has his hair slicked and parted. And he has like a cigar and has himself like a, a cognac or something in a really beautiful crystal glass. I, I picture that man. So why do I think about um, like like a, like a kind of boozy cigar? Having, because Killian Tendley, their signature from the first house, they do boozy really well. Um, mm -hmm. In the sense of you get that that really beautiful hint of rum and, and cognac and, and vodka. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, I don't know how they do it, but they add those elements to the fragrance where you still smell beautiful, but you get this sense of 
you know, like, like, like I said, this, this gentleman, this person that is uh, enjoying a, a liqueur or a beverage, you know? Mm. <laughs> longevity, they have great longevity. I would say it leans moderate to long-lasting also. I would say more on the side of moderate. Nothing overpowering, you just smell really close, quite intimate. You have to get pretty close to someone to really enjoy what they smell like. Not too close, but not intimate, like right in their neck. It's more like within a couple of feet, you know? They definitely, the House of Killian leans unisex in the sense of, uh, you know, they're, I would say there's one or two fragrances that lean definitely more masculine or definitely more feminine. I think of feminine leaning, maybe um, don't love, don't be shy, and masculine leaning, maybe, um, let me think, like a vodka on the rocks. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I would say all the fragrances are pretty unisex. You can enjoy them no matter what your, you, you know, what your gender is or, you know, hey, try to um, kill you in fragrance house. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Next we have Montserrat and Montal fragrance house. Mm -hmm. Now, Montserrat and Montel, it leans. I would say that it leans more modern. Um, these are like, fragrances that uh, have both the oods, you know, um, lots of like flowers, lots of fruits, which I love. Like I told you guys, we go back to a sample since Saturday when we kind of talked about which one of some of our favorites. Sicily was one of mine. I actually got the bottle, so uh, it's definitely a modern sort of scent. Absolutely. And what do you feel as far as um, you know, like the 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 types of fragrances, like do they lean unisex, are they more like feminine leaning? Do you say that there's fragrances that definitively are feminine or, or masculine or is everything kind of mishmash and you whatever you want? I would say they, they're their own standalone. So, so each fragrance is unique. Like I wouldn't say that that um, Mancera or Montal mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that Mancera or Montal, like they have a signature scent that kind of makes it this is unisex. This is feminine. This is masculine. It's just kind of based off of what you're looking for, what your occasion is, like what are you, what are you trying to go for in the scent? It can lean feminine, masculine, unisex. And what do you think, like the occasion is with Mancera? Like, um, are, are, is it like a, is it all occasions? Like, can we wear it to the office? Can we wear it out at a party? Can we wear it out? I think Mancera and Montal could be all purpose. All what, purpose, yeah. What, I agree with what, that. what do you think? I agree with that. I think all purpose. Now, I would say the potency with those fragrances be great for a night out or great when you're outside, you know, for, for a long period of time to the last all day, but definitely all purpose. I say definitely can go from casual to dressed up. Mm, absolutely. I second that. And then the last power, like you said, it's going to stick with you all day. It's going to stick with you like luggage. Hey, that matters, exactly. And as far as like fashion, would you say, like you said, dress up time, you can dress down? A casual, kind of like you know, kind of like what, how we how we are typically, like when we're dressed up, you know, something like what side is wearing. Is it like a dance wearing? Exactly, just like hey, you you you're, you're put together, but you're not overdoing it. Hey. Or you can be, or you can do it to the nines too. You can get dressed to the nines with it too. So you can't go wrong with either. I like that a lot. Next we have House of Siage. Uh, House of Siage, I would say. They do a modern take on fragrances, like they don't really have anything that smells really classic smelling. Um, when I say classic smelling, like I was saying, like something from a, another era, a vintage scent, maybe uh, the style of fragrance is very modern. I would say House of Sears definitely leans feminine. Mm. Uh, the, fem the, the scents that are intended for a woman or in those pretty cupcake bottles, definitely can sense that you want to sell them a woman more so than a man perhaps, but hey, wear, wear whatever you want, this is my opinion. Uh, but they do have some men's fragrances, I would say the men's fragrances definitely smell like they're for men. So it's kind of like that classic uh, marketing, they never say what's for men and what's for women, but I kind of determined that for myself. I like that they leave it open to interpretation. They let Yeah, because there might be a man that wants a cu pretty cupcake bottle, nothing wrong with it, and you might enjoy it and smell, it, smell it like you and never guess like, okay, that came from a cupcake bottle, wherever you want. But we'll say uh, House of Sea is it casual? Is it dressy? I would go casual. Yeah. Um, I would say definitely, you know, if you're wearing jeans, some ripped jeans, uh, a beautiful blouse, and you're just like out on the town shopping, great fragrance. And that fragrance for great fragrance for an office too. Nothing is too fussy with that fragrance house. Um, I would say nothing is too unique smelling either. I would say if you just want to smell really, really pleasant, and most people are going to like how you smell, I'll see how this is a good option for you to test some fragrance. Yeah, try House of Ziyash. Next then, we have Parfums de Marley Fragrance House. Mm. One of my favorites. Mine too. Yeah, like, absolutely my favorite. favorite. Modern style fragrances for sure. Uh, you know, you don't get like a vintage vibe with it. I would say definitely um, address to the nines occasion with those fragrances. Or you can dress casually, but you know, kind of, you know, uh, ca casual with 
whatever. I would say for occasions, definitely date night, weddings, yeah. uh, you know, dinners, uh, you know, eight, even just to the office. I would say all occasions, but definitely you want to, you know, look really elegant, uh, perhaps when you're, you know. Absolutely. I wouldn't even risk it and wear some of them on, uh, wear it on vacation as well. Oh, absolutely on vacation. Yeah, because you, you know, those fragrances, you can definitely create memories with the wearing them and you really enjoy them. So I would say that I would agree as well. Does it lean feminine or unisex? I would say that the the whole fragrance line leans. The ones that are in the, in the certain bottle design, I would say, are tailored towards women. I think that men can wear them too, but I, I personally think that they are more feminine fragrances. And the ones that are the more masculine bottles, some women do wear those fragrances. But guess what? I think that those are strictly... We know most men will probably really enjoy those, but hey, wherever, wherever you want, no matter what the bottle is, you can enjoy it. <laughs> Open to interpretation, guys. But I would say that what's the point of this video? The point of the video was sample sniffing is fun, and that's how we learn about new fragrances. So the thing is, sometimes sample sniffing is fun, but it's also expensive. Yeah. So you kind of want to narrow down which fragrance house might kind of attract you attract you, and you think you might find a couple winners in there. It's not good to kind of just grab a bunch of different fragrance houses because you may not like, like, may not like the style of perfumery from certain fragrance houses. So kind of understand what the art, the artists, the perfumers, uh, the owners of that fragrance house are going for when they're, when they're representing their art, the fragrances. I think that'd be the best thing to kind of point you in a new, new direction of learning about new fragrances or enjoying new fragrances. Mm. Exploring them. Exploring new fragrances. Guys, thank you again. Now, let us know in the comment section, like, what, what sorts of fragrances out of the, the Sample Sniff Saturday 5 that we uh, spoke about, Zerajal, House of Siage, Parfums de Marley, Montel Mancera, House of Killian, which ones, like, kind of resonate with you? Have you guys smelled the, like, like, a good amount of different fragrances from each house? Kind of let us know in the comment section. As always, thank you again for joining us again for another video. This is Sample Sniff Snatter. Sample Sniff, Sample Sniff I like Saturday. Saturday. I like Sample Sniff, Sniff Saturday more than I like Sample Sniff That's Saturday. a tongue twister, man. Y'all try saying that 10 times fast. Sample Sniff Saturday. Sample Sniff Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So, Sample Sniff Saturday recap. So, let us know what you guys think in the comment section. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. All right, bye. Bye, guys.